Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kizla. In this video of number systems, we are going to learn how to geometrically represent root of x, where x is any positive real number. So we are going to learn the steps of construction as well as the proof how to geometrically represent root of any number which is positive real number. So let's get started. Now suppose we have to geometrically represent root of any number, let's say x, we need to follow all these steps of construction. Let us study them one by one. First step is to draw a line AB of length x centimeter. So this is our line segment AB equal to x centimeter. Now extend AB to a point C such that BC is equal to 1 centimeter. So from B you will extend to C such that BC is equal to 1 centimeter. Now, if AB is equal to X and BC is equal to 1, I can say AC together is X plus 1 centimeter. So together AC is X plus 1 centimeter. Now, st third step says find the midpoint O of AC. So to find the midpoint O on AC, we have to make a perpendicular bisector. For that, we will take A as center and radius more than half of AC. We will draw an arc above and below AC. With C as center and same radius, we are going to intersect the previous arcs drawn, let's say at P and Q, and we will join them. So the point at which they will intersect AC, that point is the midpoint and we shall call it O. Now AO is equal to OC because this is the midpoint and also this is a perpendicular bisector so it makes 90 degree with AC. Now since it's a midpoint it divides AO, AC into two equal halves so I can say this is my x plus 1 divided by 2 even this is my x plus 1 divided by 2 so AO is equal to OC. Now fourth step says with center O and radius OC draw a semicircle. Now with O as center and radius OA or OC, we can take any radius. We have to draw a semicircle. So this is the semicircle which I have drawn, right? Which you will draw over here. Now step five says, draw a line BD perpendicular to AC and passing through B. So at B, at B point, you will draw a perpendicular you can either construct it or use a protector and mark a point D on the semicircle. The sixth step says then PD is root X. So over here, this PD represent root of X. Now let us study the proof of it. Now with the help of proof, we are going to prove that BD is root of X. We have geometrically represented that BD is root of X. Now let us prove that how it is root of X. So for that, let us join O to D. Now this is a right angle triangle because BD is perpendicular on AC. Now we got a right angle triangle. We are going to use Pythagoras theorem to prove that BD is root of X. For that we need OD, we require OB. Now, what can you say about OD? Let us see. First of all, AB is equal to X. By construction, we have already seen that AB, the line segment is X and BC. Further, we had extended to one centimeter. So this is one centimeter and total AC is equal to X plus one. And since O is the midpoint of AC, so we can say OC is equal to OA is equal to X plus one divided by two. So OC is equal to X plus 1 divided by 2. Now what about OD? What is OD? Isn't OD the radius? If we have drawn the semicircle, even OA, OC, OD all are a radius. So all the radius are equal. So we can say that OD is nothing but X plus 1 divided by 2. This is also X plus 1 divided by 2 OD. Now we have to find OB. There are two methods to find OB. Either we can start with OC and subtract BC. We will get OB, right? Again, I repeat, OB is equal to OC minus BC. That means X plus one divided by two minus one. We will get X minus one divided by two. 
now another way of finding this ob is you can have ab and minus ao and you will get ob so i can say ob is equal to ab minus ao is equal to x because ab total is x minus x plus 1 divided by 2 which is also equal to x minus 1 divided by 2. So either way we can calculate OB. Either we can have OC minus BC or we can have AB minus OA. So both of them will get uh, give us the same answer. OB is equal to x minus 1 divided by 2. Now we have OD also. We have OB also. Can we find BD? Now in a right angle triangle OBD. OD square which is the hypotenuse is equal to perpendicular square plus the base square. So we can say OB square plus the BD square. So BD square is equal to hypotenuse square minus OB square. OB square is the base. So BD square is equal to now put the values. OD square is nothing plus, um, but X plus 1 divided by 2 whole square and OB square we have already calculated X minus 1 divided by 2. So X minus 1 divided by 2 whole square. Now further because they are whole square let us open the brackets. So 1 by 4 X plus 1 will be X square plus 2X plus 1 minus 1 by 4 X square minus 2X plus 1. Right now 1 by 4 I can take common X square plus 2X plus 1. Now further change the sign in the second bracket so minus x square plus 2x and minus 1 now if you observe x square and minus x square will stand cancel 1 and minus 1 will cancel we are left with 1 by 4 and 2x and 2x is 4x so 1 by 4 into 4x now 4 and 4 will also get cancelled we are left with x so basically bd square is equal to x so we can say bd is equal to root of x so this is how we got BD is equal to root of X. This is the proof of why BD is root of X, right? Now how to represent root of X on the number line? So already BD is root of X. We have already proved it. Now with B as center and radius BD, which is equal to root of X, we will draw an arc cutting the number line. Suppose this is our number line at e so this e point is our root of x so this is how we represent root of x on the number line and this distance of be is root x centimeters right now let us take up two questions related to geometrical representation to understand it in a better way question one is represent root 3.4 on the number line so let us start with the construction First of all, draw a line segment AB equal to 3.4 cm. Second step will be to extend B to C such that BC is equal to 1 cm. So together we can say that AC is equal to 3.4 plus 1 that is 4.4 cm. Now we need the midpoint of AC. So for that we need to construct perpendicular bisector. So with A as center and radius more than half of AC, we will draw an arc above and below AC with C as center same radius draw another arc intersecting the previous arc let us say at P and Q when you will join PQ you will get the midpoint of AC that is O so basically AO is equal to OC both are equal to half of 4.4 that is 2.2 so this is also 2.2 and this is also 2.2 now with OS center and radius equal to AO or OC you can take any radius equal to 2.2 you have to draw a semicircle so this is the semicircle which we will draw on AC right and now you will take a point at B and you will construct a perpendicular either with a protector or compass you can construct a perpendicular which will cut the semicircle at D so we can say BD is equal to root of 3.4 so this BD is root of 3.4 and further we have to represent it on the number line so with b as center and radius equal to bd which is equal to 3.4 we will draw an arc which will cut the number line at e so this e point represent root 3.4 so this is how we represent it on the number line and this be distance is our root of 3.4 centimeters 
right so b let it be an origin and be represent distance root 3.4 cm now let us prove that that y bd is 3.4 root of 3.4 so the proof is ab is equal to 3.4 which we have drawn by construction and bc is equal to 1 cm further we had extended it and total it is total ac is 3.4 plus 1 which is equal to 4.4 and oc or and also oa both are equal to 3.4 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 4.4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2.2 cm now we have to make a triangle let us make a triangle and this OD is same as 2.2 because this is the radius OA, OC, OD these all are same these are the radius of the semicircle so OD is 2.2 we have to find OB so for OB let us say OB is equal to OC minus BC so either we can say OC minus BC that is 2.2 minus 1 which is equal to 1.2 centimeter or we can also say OB is equal to AB minus OA. So AB that is the total length minus OA that is the half of AC. So 3.4 minus 2.2 which is equal to 1.2. So either way we can calculate OB. Now in a right angle triangle OBD we know that OD square that is the hypotenuse is equal to OB square plus BD square. Now BD square that is the perpendicular square is hypotenuse square minus the base square now hypotenuse is 2.2 whole square ob square is we have already calculated over here it is 1.2 centimeter so 1.2 centimeter now square of 2.2 is 4.84 and square of 1.2 is 1.44 4.84 minus 1.44 is equal to 3.4 so bd is equal to root of 3.4 so this is how we prove that bd is root of 3.4 now let us take up second question second question is represent root of 4.2 on the number line so let us start with the construction first of all we shall draw the line segment ab equal to 4.2 centimeter further we shall extend b to c such that bc is equal to 1 centimeter so total we can say ac is equal to 4.2 plus 1 that is 5.2 centimeters right now we need uh, the midpoint of ac so with as center and radius equal to half of ac we shall draw the arc below and above ac and with cs center and same radius intersect the previous arcs let us say at p and q join p and q to get the midpoint of ac that is o now oa is equal to oc both are equal to 2.6 that is half of 5.2 so both are equal to 2.6 now with OS center and radius 2.6 we shall draw a semicircle so this is our semicircle which we will get on AC right now with BS center take BS center and uh, we will draw a perpendicular which will intersect the semicircle at D point so BD is the perpendicular on AC and this represent root of 4.2 now with b as center and radius bd we will draw an arc which will cut the number line at e and this e point represent 4.2 on the number line and this distance be is root of 4.2 centimeters now let us prove it that y bd is root of 4.2 so by construction we have already taken that ab is equal to 4.2 centimeter and bc is equal to 1 centimeter so ac is total 4.2 plus 1 that is 5.2 centimeter now oc is half of 5.2 that is 2.6 centimeter oc is equal to oa both are equal to 2.6 centimeter even now when we will join od this od is also 2.6 centimeter because this is also the radius of the semicircle now we need the need to prove that bd is root of 4.2 for that we have a right angle triangle and we shall use pythagoras theorem now od is 2.6 but we have to calculate ob now ob can be calculated by two methods where we can start with oc and minus bc so oc total is 2.6 minus 1 is 1.6 or we can have ob as ab minus oa 
विच इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट टू माइनस टू पॉइंट सिक्स विच इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर सो ओबी वी कैन कैलकुलेट बाय बोथ द मेथड्स एंड द आंसर विल बी सेम वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर नाउ इन अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल ओबीडी दिस इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल OD square, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to the base square plus the perpendicular square. So we need perpendicular square. So perpendicular square is equal to hypotenuse square minus the base square. Hypotenuse is 2.6 square and base is 1.6 square, which we have calculated. 2.6 square is 6.76 and 1.6 square is 2.56. Subtract it, we will get 4.2. BD square is equal to 4.2, so BD is equal to root of 4.2. so this is how we have proved also that bd is root of 4.2 right so this is it children hope you have understood this method of geometrically representing root of any positive real number on the number line thank you everyone have a great day ahead